Welcome everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, my name is Jean Vaccaro and I work at the One Archives at USC Libraries and I'm really happy to introduce the Gay Divorcees, a band of real life queers who got gay married and gay divorced, um, led by composer Ethan Philbrick. They've come together during a pandemic to write songs about getting into an out of state sanctioned intimacy in the 21st century. Throughout this month, the Gay Divorcees will be streaming their album of songs over the toll free number 1855 Gay Devo. And I believe we have some images for you to see. I'm also going to direct you to the web page where you can read more, um, including uh, a really extensive reading list by the participants. Um, in this moment, we were trying to figure out how to get out of situations that are no longer working or keep going after the end of something, the gay divorcees approach their experience with marriage and divorce as potentially instructive. Divorce your old patterns, divorce your broken political systems, divorce your inherited ideologies. Um, and today we're really excited that they're here to present a Valentine's Day listening party filled with performances, readings, and other surprises. I'm going to drop everyone's bio into the chat so that you can read more about this incredible group of performers who include um, composer Ethan Philbrick, Robbie Aiklin, Lauren Basque, Lauren Denizio, Paul Legault, uh, Joshua Thomas Lieberman, Ita Segev, Julia Steinmetz, and Ashton Young. And with that, I'm going to pass um, the square over to Ethan. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the premiere Valentine's Day party of 2021. Um, hi. Um, so I, um, it's really an honor to have you joining us today. Um, I, I find that divorcees are actually generally a quite hopeful bunch. You know, there was, if nothing else, we had a sense that things could be better and so, um, left something. And, um, so I think, I think this is going to be a great place to be for the next hour. Um, before we get going, I want to um, actually invite everybody who's camera ready, who feels comfortable to turn on their cameras um, and for us to go into gallery view. So if, if you're a newbie to Zoom, which like bless you for having avoided it for this long, but like um, gallery view is upper right, you go find the grid, you go to the grid. Um, and so I just wanna take a second to um, look around at who's assembled um, and explore the private message function. So, you know, just just send a co compliment to someone. You know, maybe, maybe it's a book on the shelf. Maybe it's their smile. Maybe it's a stranger. Maybe it's somebody you know. Um, but let's just take a second to see who's here. Okay, um, so now, you know, I please continue with the private messages. I support private messages throughout this. Um, but um, I now want to um, invite you all to turn your cameras off. <laughs> so if you go to the bottom left, if you don't know how to do it, you just press the little camera icon. And then, um, so press the camera, turn the camera off. And then I also, for like optimal experiencing of this, if you go to your video settings, which if you like click the little carrot next to the camera icon and, and then go down, scroll down and click the box that says hide non-video participants, it will just make it all look a lot cuter. And that's, that's what we want. We want it to at least look cute. Um, so um, I'm going to give everybody a second to find that. Hide non-video participants. OK. Um, OK. I think we're ready to go. Um, so 
now that we've sort of done the Zoom, the Zoom logistics, can I have my fellow gay divorcees please turn on camera? So this is, I mean, I'm sure there are actually quite a few gay divorcees in the audience here, but this is like the ensemble members who have been gathering for the past six months to um, share in our experiences of the politics of intimacy and love and loss and leaving and transitions and write songs with each other along the way. Um, so I am very honored to be here with you all and sending all my love and gratitude to you. Um, so we, um, as Jean was saying, we have our, if you haven't had a chance yet, um, this is the phone number where you can listen to our songs. And here is the website where you can also listen to songs and watch video and, um, and get a sense of the project and where we're coming at it from. Um, today, we're going to each be sharing some work that sort of relates to the songs that we've been writing alongside each other as we've been in conversation. It's not necessarily just the songs. Some of us are performing songs. Some of us are doing other things sort of surrounding. Um, so, so the website is there to turn to if you um, want to keep going with this. Um, and so before we get going, I just want to um, do a little, little sort of like introduction wave moment. Um, so, and I'm gonna also just copy and paste this little program for us today into the chat. Here it is. Um, so, so just maybe we can do a wave of the order so we can have names to faces. We're gonna start with Ita, hi Ita. And then go to Lauren Bax, hi Lauren. <laughs> and then Paul Lego. And then Julia Steinmetz. Yes, Julia. And then Ashton Young. And then Robbie Ackburn. And Lauren Dinsier. And then I'll I'll close this out again. Um, okay, and then also, while I have everybody on camera, you can see how cute they are. Um, we're also encouraging people to tip the divorcees during this performance. Um, so if you f should feel so called, these are the Venmo handles. They'll be here this whole time. You just scroll back up, find the Venmo, send them a little cash. Um, okay, so uh, so fellow divorcees, let's. Um, I'm gonna now invite you to turn off cameras, and we're gonna get the show on the road. The Gay Divorcee, the movie, is a musical comedy of remarriage from 1934 starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers with music by Cole Porter. It is a film about a woman courting a divorce that is hard to get. Both her husband and the law won't let her. But there is a trip to a hotel and hijinks, reversals and substitutions, and she is eventually happily delivered from her unhappy marriage. It is a movie full of chase scenes, thwarted refusals, revolving automated platforms, hand puppets, people getting confused about the difference between being an actor and a sex worker, and partner dances that seem to go on forever. My gay marriage was also full of chase scenes, thwarted refusals, revolving repetitions, feeling like a hand puppet, getting confused about the difference between acting and sex, and a partner dance that had always felt violent but I couldn't seem to stop doing the steps to. 
While Ginger Rogers as the gay divorcee is distinctly gay as in happy, not gay as in homosexual, my marriage, at least publicly, was doubly gay, both homosexual and happy, and doubly not so gay in private, full of silence and pain, and also rather heterosexual, me as the housewife planning parties for the busy doctor husband. The misery of my marriage was publicly comedic, my contradictions providing the perfect butt for every one of my jokes and constantly spewing stories of the messy hijinks of being in a polyamorous marriage. But my divorce has been resolutely serious, full of anger and tears and breaks and ruptures and reckoning with profound pain. Now, I'm a gay divorcee and I'm very grateful for it. I'm not so interested in moving from being a gay divorcee to proposing gay divorce as some sort of redemptive concept for reimagining queer resistance in times of gay marriage. But I'm definitely interested in people breaking up from what isn't working and leaving the dance even as it's spinning. Can I actually just ask with audience really quick is how is just tech question levels of sound? Can people hear video and sound? Yeah, I heard. Okay, great. Just want to make sure. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Ita. Um, I am seven hours ahead of y'all in the East Coast and 10 hours ahead of y'all in California area. So I'm uh, welcoming you to um, Valentine's Day evening. Um, I'll be performing uh, two songs, acoustic versions of them that I wrote for this project um, on instruments that um, I um, had as a teenager and are at my mom's house in Jerusalem, which is where I currently am. I'm realizing that there's like, you're not laughing back. So I'm like, I like to tell jokes and then audience laughs and then I'm like, I'm fine, but I'll just have to deal with my own echo chamber here. Um, So yeah, this is Jerusalem. There's like a thousand year old um, monastery right outside my window um, that you can't see because it's night. But um, that's where I had my first hookup with a boy. a random internet boy right outside. So I'm giving you very like sexy suppression Jerusalem night. Um, and now I'll shut up and perform. This is future ex-husband. There goes my future ex-husband. Look how he smiles my way. There goes my future ex-husband. I wonder if this one will stay. There goes 
my future ex-husband Look how he smiles my way There goes my future ex-husband I wonder if this one will stay He takes off my leopard panties Turning my tiger to prey My guard goes down to when he fucks me I'm a Jew but on all fours I'll pray Oi, 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 oi here come my over attachments Daddy's gone but issues stay If I figure out who he wants to love Then we can mold me like clay Slate. Once you get in bed with a state, in bed with a state, and there's never ever a clean slate. Once you get in bed with a state, in bed with a state, and you never ever know who'll stay. Once you're a divorcee, once you're a divorcee, you never and you never ever know who'll stay. Once you're a divorcee, once you're a divorcee, you never and you never get a clean slate. Once you get in bed with a state and you never know who'll stay. Once you're a divorcee and you never get a clean slate. Once you get in bed with a state and you never know who'll stay. Once you're <laughs> to come and extract my love I don't think I want him to stay um so now we have this instrument I don't know what it's called but I'm kind of obsessed um and this one is called I Did My Job, and it's dedicated to all the trans girls who thought they were gay boys once upon a time. Five, six, seven, eight. Show me a queer that isn't codependent. That's like a dad that does show ah, ah, ah. Today the girls transition when they're 13. Back then our gender was sucking car. Ah, ah. Show me a guy who doesn't need a mommy That's like a Pisces that doesn't suck uh -uh. My ex should send me flowers on Mother's Day Cause we both know I did my job Yeah, we both know I did my job. 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 Why won't you say I did my job? Yeah, we both know I did my job. 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 Yeah, we both know
Why won't you say I did my job? 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 I did, I did everything for you. I did more than everything. I gave everything until I had nothing left, mommy. And you, you just sat there expecting to receive like you American boys learn how to do. And me, I thought it was a kick. So I was like, yeah, sure. Until there wasn't a safe word. Until I couldn't say banana bread pudding or something to make it stop. And then what? And then what, Kuss and McAuls? You know what? It's fine. It is what it is. I hope you're doing great. And uh, that you have uh, a great Valentine's Day. Faggot. Yay, that was, I'm going to clap for everyone. <laughs> so good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, that was amazing. From Ita, I'm Lauren, um, and I'm zooming in from Philadelphia. And happy Valentine's Day. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share my screen. So this is called A Note on the Use of Flowers, A Little Trick. I'm going to start off with an epigraph. This is by Stephanie Jemison. She writes, what use are flowers? I have been thinking a lot about what flowers are for. I have been feeling most of the time more like a flower than a pot. I have been wondering what use I can possibly have. The first time I read that I'm a few months into quarantine and I've already begun taking almost daily photos of flowers. First step was to buy the flowers, make sure there are always flowers in the house. Then when you notice the flowers starting to change, take their picture. You can notice that they are changing all the time. So you could really spend a full life photographing flowers and their infinite changes. Not just how they change, but also how you change. Like when you get up close to them or move far away, when you spread your fingers apart on the screen to move further inside. I don't know anything about flowers or how they're made, like what makes them up. If you could get inside a flower, what would be there? But when I spread the fingers on the screen of the phone and get as close as I can, I lose the shape and the colors fade. And then I'm just in the space of the flower, which is now the space of color, but I'm also still outside it too. There was this one picture of flowers I had taken that I had wanted to find. I, I think it was the first intentional picture of flowers I had taken. I, I forgot about it, but then when I started taking pictures of flowers again, I was reminded of it and wanted to find it. I was in that part of New York City where they plant tulips in the middle of the street, very taken care of, not much trash around, definitely somewhere above 50th Street. I was up there with the just now ex-husband. We were leaving the lawyer's office and I'm pretty sure we were still walking together when I took the picture, but I can't totally remember. We were crossing the street and I think I turned to him and said, this will be my photo. And that's when I took it, that photo of the red tulips. Either I said that to him or I said it to myself. I'm not sure if I said it to him or myself, like, was he still physically with me or was he already the ghost residue that would get less and less sticky over time? I said this was going to be my photo because when we were still in the office, he had taken a photo and that was his photo. He got his photo. The table was a big wooden one and we were each sitting on either side and I don't think anyone else was in there. She had left to get more papers or something and it was just us in there signing and he took my picture. 
I guess he thought since there were pictures of our wedding, there should be pictures of our divorce. I think he told me that, probably said it out loud. And I guess that's why the only thing I want to take pictures of, at least when it comes to this topic, are flowers. Because I would rather have pictures of the most useless kinds of beauty than have the things that are useful. Sometimes I don't think I want to have any kind of use, or I don't want to have that kind of use. Maybe the use of the useless, if we could figure out what that might be. So I think the pictures of flowers might be an example of that, the use of the useless. It's also a little trick that you can use. Like if you feel that you are getting to be too useful, too used, or maybe you're heading that direction where you got to put yourself to use to get the things you thought you should have or be the things you thought you should be. And then you realize you don't see any flowers around and you can really just turn your head or walk to the store or the uptown median or the neighbor's garden, get out of wherever you are and just move towards the flowers and you keep moving towards them. And then more and more, they're gonna move towards you too. So um, I'll leave you with one other little trick or, or something. Um, so this is from the, um, a part of the song that I contributed to the album that I made in collaboration with Chris Lee and it's called No Proper Thing. Um, and this is a, a little refrain at the end of the song and I wanted to offer it as a kind of Valentine's Day mantra or prayer and you can take it with you, use it, sing it, write it down, share it. Um, and it goes like this. No proper love, no proper tea. We're gonna love improperly, please. No proper love, no proper tea. We're gonna love improperly, please. No proper love, no proper tea. We're gonna love improperly. We're gonna love improperly. We're gonna love improperly, Lee, Lee. Lee, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. That was beautiful. Thanks, Paul. Um, hi, I'm Paula Goat. I'm a gay divorcee. And, um, well, I, I like that we're all at USC right now. I know we're not, but I went to USC and that's actually where I met my ex. Um, who I got married to and then later divorced and I'm gonna read I'm gonna read a poem except today I'm reading it with all of my fellow gay divorcees and it's a poem that I wrote in 2010 um, when I was in this marriage and it wasn't I guess I didn't realize at the time that it was like this time capsule of my feelings of being in a divorce um, or a divorce that was about to happen. Um, but I'm actually going to read it with them. And I'll play the saxophone uh, as well. Because it's something that I've been playing more when meeting with all these friends of mine on Zoom. Just like making music through this process has been really... I don't know, it's been like a very generous medium to work in. Music is just keeps giving, and I hope you listen to all our songs. Um, and this poem is called Animal Husbandry. And I invite Ethan to join my audio stream. On the beach and on wheels, I can do this thing called beach patrol. <laughs>
first one. Ice pink and chocolate plaid with ice and Sarah X. Horse two. Ice cream plaid with Sahara and chocolate accent. Horse three. Ice blue plaid with ice green hunter and cream accents. The anthropomorphic cat eating the non-anthropomorphic mouse doesn't really want to, or else he wanted to inside somewhere where he couldn't admit it. Old Beagle. I remember uh, Sans Memories. <laughs> Red October. The ice paddle serves its purpose. Galapagos. Last season should have been the last season that some wooden mass set sail when I was on it. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Julia. Hey, Paul. Thank you so much for that gorgeousness. Yeah, thank you, Tag. Um, hi, so uh, I'm Julia, and I'm zooming in from snowy, icy Brooklyn, New York. And um, I have a little participatory moment for us. Um, I'm, I'm imagining that we may have a number of fellow gay divorcees in the audience. And um, beyond that, I'm sure that everyone here can relate to the experience of re realizing in retrospect all those red flags that shouldn't should have been a sign that maybe this relationship we're getting into just wasn't necessarily the best idea to begin with right um and so whether those red flags were something that your ex exhibited or things that you did yourself that should have been a really clear warning sign um the gay divorcees want to hear about all of them all right so i'm inviting everyone now to Take a little moment, close your eyes and think about it. Call to mind one of those red flags. And I'm gonna play some soothing chimes for you and invite each of you to unmute yourself as the spirit moves you and chime in with your own red flags. Getting in the way of my friendships. When he wouldn't make eye contact with me. When he had great strength to his spirit animal and he was a white man. Red flags. 
so many red flags, red flags. Ohio. When we realized we were too young. know where I was all the time. His nicknames for me were really mean. When I realized I was shaking and the dog was shaking too. When I couldn't tell him the truth, but when I was looking at him inside. Did you understand the fact that the feeling is something that you said it could be in itself? So many red flags, red flags. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and invite everyone, uh, if you haven't joined in already, to, now is a great moment, um, and I want to invite you all to join in just with a, a short refrain, um, and here's how it goes. I knew better, but I did it anyway. I knew better, but I did it anyway. All right, I've got a little, um, we're going to raise up our own flag here, and uh, you can have a little look-see, and um, please, everyone, you're invited, if you feel so inclined, to unmute yourself and sing along. Um, so just a moment, I'll get this going, and... Everybody now. I knew better, but I did it anyway. 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 
I knew better. Thank you all so, so much. Yay. Thank you, Julia. Very cathartic. Wonderful. Thanks, Ashton. <laughs> I hand things over to you. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Ashton. Um, I am zooming in from beautiful but cold Louisiana, New Orleans. Um, I thought that what I would do is share a little reading and then do a song. So in addition to being a gay divorcee, I'm also a tarot reader. So um, I have pre-shuffled this deck. I'm going to pull a card and maybe speak about divorce advice or love. We'll see what comes up. And then I will um, perform the acoustic version of my song, Sick With You. Okay. We have this deck. It's all pre-shuffled. I'm just going to pull the top card. Oh, wow. Okay. Four of Swords. Okay. This deck is called the Modern Witch Tarot. If you are into tarot and you're interested and you love this image like I do, um, the Modern Witch Tarot is definitely this deck. So Four of Swords. Whenever the Four of Swords is pulled, I ask my client, how are your dreams, right? Listen to your dreams. If the dream of Staying in a romantic bond, trust your dream, trust what comes up in your subconscious. I'm going to pause because it says my internet is unstable. Can I get confirmation in the chat that you all can still hear me? Am I back? Yes? Okay. Awesome. So I live underwater in Louisiana, so it might get a little spotty, so just let me know. Okay, so in conclusion, yes, if you are dreaming about the single life, if you're dreaming about new love, you want to follow those dreams and those instincts. And you want to be careful in terms of making sure that you're getting enough sleep so that you can be in action about whatever it is you need to do with your love life, right? So when you get this card, it's a little bit of a warning about action that needs to take place. Okay, that's the fourth sort. So, um, not cutting out willing. <laughs> I am going to play the acoustic version. It's just a backtrack. I want to thank uh, Lauren D and Ethan for helping me to put this song together. I have small hands. I can't do the guitar. So I've got this backdrop music. Um, I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Two girls in love with bruises and match Thinking we save each other if we stayed aside I was too young to open up my eyes and see That I can only stay No matter what we've been through, I don't want to be sick with you. No, I don't want to be sick with you. I don't want to be sick with you. No matter what we've been through, I don't want to be sick with you. I couldn't stay with you any longer As long as I could feel my spirit getting stronger It's sitting in the dark is where you want to be I gotta find my light so I can be set free You're gonna lay in the bed you 
made. I couldn't fix you even if I stayed. So sick with you. I don't want to be sick with you. No matter what we've been through, I don't want to be sick with you. No, I don't want to be sick with you. I don't want to be sick with you. No matter what we've been through, I don't want to be sick with you. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Thank you all. I love that, I love that Ashton. <laughs> I love the horses. I'm excited for you. <laughs> Wild horses back here. Yes. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is R Robbie Acklin, and I'm zooming in from Highland Park, um, New Jersey. And I wrote the song on the album titled My Ex's R Recipes with the help of Ethan. Uh, this was the first song I've ever uh, written to completion. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you, Ethan, for inviting me into this project and for helping me craft uh, this tune and all the other band members for their support and feedback. Um, I won't be performing it live uh, for you, but I did make a cooking tutorial video with the help of a friend, Amanda Horowitz, that, um, and uh, 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 this cooking video also will like double as a music video and I'm going to also uh, drop um, a PDF of the recipe in the chat for you to do with as you wish. So now, Ethan, if you would play the video, the, uh, the world premiere of, of uh, the music video, my ex's uh, recipes. A uh, tea kettle um, to help the, the boiling water process go faster. So now what is this? Potato. So we're making a potato, um, onion, mashed thing that my ex taught me how to make. So step one is boil the potatoes. And don't burn yourself when you boil them. Step three, pour yourself a glass of wine while your potatoes are boiling. Step five, cool the potatoes. Step six, peel the cooled potatoes. Splatters in the 
frying pan. Step eight, brown the onion. Another honey on toast. A simple snack to hold us over. To make it special, we'd add Nutella. Sweetness delivered closure. My ex is recipe. Come and take a seat. Another helping for me, oh please. My ex is recipe. My ex is recipe. Feeling a few of these. Lightweight and free, oh please. My ex is recipe. Remember the time we made carbonara. Take the recipe with me. Won't be around tomorrow. I'll never forget. Your mama's bread and chicken. Please tell her I love her. I'll always be missing. My ex is recipe. Come and take a seat. Another helping for me, oh please. My ex is recipe. My ex is recipe. Still in the Lightweight and free, oh please, my ex is recipe. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> chicken. Mm, chicken. <laughs> that with pouring putting a drop of water in it. This is the max how it should cook. Don't let it splatter all over your stove then the oil is too hot. Even this for me now is almost a little bit too hot. That's it for me. Uh, Lauren is up next. Hi, Robbie. That's great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Lauren, and uh, I play in a band called Warriors, which is actually how um, I connected with this project or how Ethan uh, heard of my music, because uh, our last record was definitely at least a little bit inspired by my gay divorce. So um, the song that I wrote for our record, Backyard Garden, um, was really a big team effort uh, and is a much louder rock ensemble kind of song. So I thought I would just play a couple of the songs off of uh, the last Warriors record that uh, are applicable to this event. 
So, uh, yeah, thanks so much. so much to USC for having us all here. I think I'm the only uh, only member of the ensemble who's actually in LA right now. So I'm looking forward to an in-person visit there sooner than later. Walking near the water, I can see the bear spot you said you would you got drunk and all our friends so don't you dare fuck this up so this is how it goes and this is how I walk now this is how you fade out Will I ever sleep well? In a perfect world we'd be in jeans We'd be in t-shirts, be in love If I cared enough, I'd be distraught
everybody. <laughs> Ethan. Yay. Thank you, Lauren. That was so great. Um, hi, everyone. Hi again, everyone. I'm back. Um, I'm back to let you know that we've reached the end of our time together tonight. Um, so as a last gesture, we'd like to just um, teach you all a song that came up in our process. So if I could get the um, my comrades in divorce, my the gay divorcees to turn on their cameras. We can we can come back together. Hey everybody. Um thank you all. Thank you to USC. Thank you to Gene. Thank you to the One Archives. Thank you to Lexi. Um thank you also to Jay Wegman and NYU Skirball for the commissioning funds. Um thank you to Alex Rodoball for making the website divorcee.gay. Um and um oh yes Jean is reminding you in the chat, dip your divorces. Um, no, but uh, uh, so I just, as a last moment, um, can anybody who feels comfortable just turn their cameras on and we can go to the grid view again, sort of get a sense of the, of the, at least, you know, some of the group that's assembled today. Um, so this song, it's like, it's, it's the little song I played at the very beginning. So this is, um, it's it's like a little wish, a little lullaby. Um, oh yes, and Robbie, Joshua Lieberman, who could not be here today, but did all the visuals. Um, big shout out to Joshua too. Um, so here's here are the lyrics. It's just two lines. You can leave what isn't working. You can leave what you don't think you can. So I'm gonna I'm gonna teach it. I'm gonna teach one line at a time. And. Um, you know, like whatever you need to leave right now. You know, this can we can we can travel far far with the concept of leaving. Okay, so so here's the first line. You can leave. This is our starting note. You can leave. You can be here, or maybe you're down here, or maybe you're up here. But you can leave. Okay. You can leave what isn't working. So you need not try that. You can leave what isn't working. And second line. You can leave what you don't think you can. Try that one. You can leave what you don't think you can. And now we do the first line, but a different melody. You can leave what isn't working. Try that one. You can leave what isn't working. And then last time, you can leave what you don't think you can. You can leave what you don't think you can. Okay, that's the whole thing. So we're going to listen to it now. And I invite you to sing along at home. And just like, you know, you can imagine the theater we could be in together, singing a song together, you know, vibrating the whole space. Um, and I invite you as you sing, if you want, you know, no pressure, but uh, um, as Julia says in the chat, you know, call the number and you can leave a voicemail of you singing along. So if you call the number, just press star, you'll go right to our voicemail and you can, and you can leave us a little bit of you singing. Um, 
and then just before um, a little plug before we we end the evening with some singing together, there will also be if you hear in the song, there's a sort of instrumental moment which could really be a dance break. So if you feel inspired to move, now's the time. Um, and just you know, if you want some more time with us um, on February 25th at the end of the month to sort of mark mark the end of the month, we're having one more event that's hosted by NYU Performance Studies. Will be another Zoom event, um, and we'll be joined by a really incredible panel of scholars who will be leaving messages for us, who will be offering responses to the project. Um, so that's February 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, another event, we'll be posting things about it. But Lauren Berlant, Elizabeth Freeman, Jules Bill Peterson, Tavia Nyongo, and um, Anne Pellegrini. So, like a gorgeous lineup. Um, okay, so let's sing this song again. You can leave what isn't working. You can leave what you don't think you can. I'm just going to share my sound. You can leave what isn't working. You can leave what you don't think you can. You can leave what isn't working. You can leave what you don't think you can. You can leave what isn't smell we'd love to hear from you let's unmute and give the gay divorcees a big round of applause thank you everyone <laughs> Robbie, lauren lauren julia itza ashton paul thank you for joining us thanks everybody <laughs> thank you